a voltage controlled bilateral current source that is generating current I out that can come out or can go in depending on whether we apply a positive or negative V in is shown and designed here using three op amps. We refer to it as bilateral because it's two way. It can just generate the current out and in. And uh, we want to prove that given this circuit, I out is simply R2, which is this resistor shown here, uh, divide by R1 and then divide by R3. So that's we want, what we want to show in this circuit. And uh, to start, we make the assumption that all the op amps are properly biased, so the supply voltages, positive, negative, are properly applied, and negative feedback is dominant in all the op amps, op amp number one, two, and uh, so op amp number one, two, and number three, and number three here. So. Uh, from perspective of op amp number one, it's clearly just simply a buffer. If it is uh, if it is in proper regional operation, then virtual short is valid for all the op amp, and because of that, we are saying positive input terminal and negative input terminal they should have the same voltage. So if V in appear at positive input terminal, at negative one for this op amp should also have V in. Basically, as expected, this first op amp with this sort of connection is just working as a buffer because input appears at the output. So V in appears at input of R5. From perspective of the second op amp, which is op amp number two, that is this circuit, that is effectively just an inverting amplifier. You can see that V in appears at the input of that and generates a current that flows like this to the output. And uh, what appears at the output here, let's refer to it as V1. That V1 is clearly uh, negative R5 divided by R5 because it's an inverting amplifier. So negative R5 divided by R5 times input, which is Vn. So we get minus Vn. Interesting. So V1 is simply minus Vn. Great. So let's now, now that we know the value of V1 at the input of R1, we can now focus on the third op amp. So let's make the assumption that. Um, if you take a look at the combination of R3 and R4, and if you look at the R2, which is given that it has to be equal to R3 plus R4, you can see that these two resistors, R2 and the series of R3 and R4, are effectively um, parallel, meaning that on one side, let me change the color, so I, I'm providing a, a sort of a quick analysis. On one side, they have this common node. On the other side, we have Let's say we have these two nodes, so node here, which is the positive terminal, and this node, which is the negative terminal. So uh, since the positive and negative are supposed to have the same voltage because of mutual short that is supposed to be applicable for op, -amp, for op -amp number three, we can say that VR2, uh, so let me uh, go back to the original color. So we can say that we can say that VR2 is equal to uh, VR4 plus VR3. So that is because the way things are set up. <clears throat> so as a result, I can substitute for these things. For VR2, I can substitute, of course, R2 times I2, which I'm supposed to find. For VR4, I can say R4 times I4, which I will find. I4 is the current that is passing through R4. And uh, just to be clear, uh, I2 is the current that is passing through uh, R2. And then finally for VR3, I can say this current, but we know that that current is simply, is simply the sum of, as you can see, if you think about a KCL here, this current is the sum of I out plus I plus I4. So I out plus I4 will result in the current IR3. So I out plus I4. Okay, now let's substitute for uh, things that we are seeing here. You can name this as equation, say, number one, and let's uh, try to find what is I2. Well, the I2, you can say I2 effectively because op amp 3 is in linear region of operation, no current can flow through the input of ideal op amp, therefore this current I2 has to continue going through R1. 
So I can say if the voltage uh, here is V and the voltage here is V, therefore I can say I2 uh, is equal to, obviously, uh, let me actually substitute in the equation that I have. So here I can say R2 times, instead of I2, I can say V minus V1 divided by R1. So V minus V1 divided by R1 equal to R4. And then instead of I4 here, so I'm dealing with the current I4, but that I4, since nothing can come in and can go in come and come out of the positive terminal of ideal up and therefore I4 is the same thing as the current that goes through this R1. And since the voltage across this R1 is simply V and ground, we can say that I4 is simply uh, V over R1. Okay, so uh, the last piece of puzzle is simply uh, saying that obviously uh, doing the same thing. I4 here is V over R1. Okay, so what is the nice thing about uh, this whole process? The nice thing is I have um, now um, an equation I can deal with. So uh, let, let's just expand. So if I expand, I can see it's R2 over R1 uh, times V minus R2 over R1 times V1 equal to R4 over R1 times V, and then I have also R3 times V over R1. So effectively becomes R4 plus R3 divided by R1 times V plus R3 times I out, this component. Okay, so what's the benefit of this? Well, look at the, look at the equation that is given to us at the beginning of the problem. It was given to us that R2 is equal to R3 plus R4. You can see that this R2 is equal to R3 plus R4, and R1 is the same as R1, and V is the same as V. So, nice thing is, because of this observation, um, so I can say, uh, given equation 2, so given equation 2, I can cancel out these two things, uh, given that, given that, R2 is equal to R3 plus R4. So what is the outcome of this? Uh, well, I get that uh, minus R2 over R1 times V1 is equal to R3 times I out. Very nice. So um, let me go back to uh, some color, better color. So as a result, I can say, okay, I can say I out is equal to minus R2 over R1 um, times R3 and times V1. Well, wh what is the value of V1? We just found the V1 um, here. So if I name this number 3, so using equation 3, we know that V1 is negative V in. So I out is equal to R2 over R1, R3 times V in. That's exactly what we wanted to find. So uh, that, that's the interesting thing. We managed to uh, generate a current I out that is only a function of the volt control voltage V in and then R2 and R1 and R3 resistors in this circuit. Then um, that current can actually, uh, be, as I said, the current depending on the uh, the, the voltage V in, whether it's a positive or negative voltage, the current can be sourced or sunk. So it can uh, receive or transmit the current out. Um, th this, is a, th this can be the core of a practical current source. Of course, in practice, you might need some additional uh, circuitry around it to make it uh, less prone to variations but then or less prone to dependency on the load. Um, but uh, it's, it's a very simple and good circuit.
Um, it can be also shown and analyzed that uh, y i out, depending on the positivity or negativity of v, and y i out is going out or or, or sort of uh, uh, sinking or sourcing a current. Uh, it's just simply the fact that if you trace the current, uh, how the positive and negative feedback interact in the circuit. I hope that this example is helpful.